Do I look like Hey guys, Saint Fleet, J Fleet. Today in this video, we're going to be going over all the leaked information we have gotten about this Pompeii Island map so far, and we're going to be going through all the weapons that we have been given through the leaks. All the way from World War II weapons to wonder weapons that we might be seeing. So keep in mind, this is code from the game, so it could be changed at any minute. So don't take this for the end results of this map. Things could definitely change, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you guys do, and subscribe if you guys are new. But anyways, get into it. So the first thing is a katana. Now we've always seen Takio have a sword on his body, but we never were able to use it. But in this map, we're finally going to be able to use a katana-like weapon. So it's unclear in the coding if we're going to get four, like we've seen from previous maps, where each player gets their own specific katana sword, and they get to upgrade it to four different elemental upgrades. But we do know for sure that there is going to be a katana sword called the Masamoni, and this Masamoni is going to be a charge-up weapon like a specialist weapon. And so around this island, and Nanmadal, there was a thunder god that the local natives worship, and his name was Nansapwa. So in the code of the game, there was a weapon found known as the Skull of Nansapwa, and this Nansapwa god was the god of thunder. And so we kind of get the idea that this is going to be some kind of weapon relating to thunder, maybe even a reskin of the thunder gun or some kind of effects to that. So with all this code in the game found relating to this island map, there was also a weapon known as the Spike launcher and we've seen this before we've seen it from a campaign mission as well as if you can play it on nightmares and it's that really pretty rad rocket launcher where it shoots grenades or spikes and you just shoot the spike to wherever you want and you could blow it up manually with a switch and so that was found with code in the game alongside all this code found with this island map so we could be seeing this weapon return as well okay so another weapon that was leaked that could be some kind of wonder weapon as well maybe it's relating to the school of nansapwa or maybe it's its own thing. Maybe it's a buildable. Who knows for sure? But it's called the Venom Haze. And the person that leaked this code believes that you can get a part of this Venom Haze weapon from killing a spider that we are suspecting spiders to be on this map. Killing a spider will give you a part for this weapon called the Venom Haze. Okay, so you know how we haven't gotten any new weapons yet? In the code was found some World War II weapons that we could possibly be seeing. The first one being the Ariska, and I'm pronouncing that completely wrong probably, but the Ariska is a Japanese rifle. The next could be a potential new starting pistol called the P1 pistol. And I hope that we're going to get a new starting pistol. And if it is, it would probably be this P1 pistol. So this P1 pistol found in the coding looks tremendously like a Japanese general pistol called the Nambu pistol. So these are side by side, the P1 to the Nambu, and they look identical. So what Treyarch could have done is found existing coding for the P1 pistol and reskin it to this Japanese because this map is heavily revolving around Japanese. Division 9 is Japanese scientist. It's relating to Takio. He's Japanese. And the Pompeii Island is very close to the Japanese coast. So we are most likely getting like a Japanese theme like Shinonuma kind of. And so it makes sense to get these Japanese weapons. And then the next one is the Type 100. This is a Japanese submachine gun used in World War II as well. And that would be amazing to see back because it was a fan favorite from World at War. And a lot of people are saying that the Type 100 is the same weapon as the uh, bootlegger from Shadows of Evil. They're completely completely different weapons. The bootlegger is a Sten, a British submachine gun, and the Type 100 is a Japanese submachine gun. So they're completely two different weapons. So if we were to get the Type 100, it won't be the bootlegger, it'll be the Type 100. So we might be getting some nostalgic World War II weapons alongside a katana sword that we have a long been overdue wanting, then some kind of Venom Haze wonder weapon, and the Skull of Nansapwa. So this will be pretty interesting how this map turns out, what they're going to take and what they're going to leave. And this is definitely entitled to change. So we could either get more, we could be seeing everything that I stated and then get more, or we could be getting some of these removed and uh, it's not even going to be close to what we get in the final map. Or they, if they don't use it in this map, they could use it in a future map. Who knows for sure? But regardless, we are most likely going to see the katana. I could probably guarantee that as well as... The new HG-40 was also found with a glitch in the main menu, so we could be getting that in Zombies as well. So finally, some new weapons for the Zombies mode. It's been way too long. They should have added it with their Ice and Daraka. And I hate the fact that they didn't, but if they do it in DLC 2, they've redeemed themselves. But that is it for today's video. That's all the information about weapons given to us. I might have missed something. I tried to look my best, but I might have missed something. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did, and subscribe if you guys are new. Talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.